What if everyone in the world had the opportunity to study abroad? What if everybody in the world had the opportunity to study abroad? To be like you are today? Wouldn't that be great? Yeah? Wouldn't that be a more peaceful world? Yeah? We'd understand each other better? Yeah? Yeah? We wouldn't have division or debate about who's from which country or who's from which town or, or debates on division. Yeah? It'd be a lot more peaceful place, wouldn't it? Yeah? Well, here today I'm to, to share about, ha about students having the time of their lives and about studying abroad. Okay? Fifty years ago, following World War II, okay, there was the birth of a new industry. And this industry was all about people traveling abroad, about learning new cultures, learning new things. Okay? Different countries have different names for it. The French call it Sejour Ligistique. Is that right, Mikhail? Yeah, yeah thank you. Um, which is a, a language stay, yeah? a language journey. I think Italians, am I right? I think it's Corsi Alestero, is that right? Is that, is that right? Est estero. Corsi Alestero. Yeah? Yeah? Which is study abroad. Okay? Studying abroad is all about learning other cultures, making friends, discovering new things. Okay? For those who don't know me, I'm James Herbertson, and I started accommodation agency London Nest. Okay? And we help thousands of people like yourselves that dream of coming to London to come on a short-term course and who struggle to find accommodation in the capital. Before that, I used to work in a language school. Before that, I had an accommodation, I had a language travel agency, was helping people that want to study English anywhere in the world. But where my dream started was very much age like yourselves. How old are you all? What ages are you? 16. Okay, so a little, just a little bit older than that. Age 18, I travelled to Malaga and I went to study Spanish and it completely changed my life. I met people from all over the world, from Switzerland, from Denmark, from Brazil, from America and it completely opened my mind, opened my horizons, okay? But what underpinned all that was actually not just the experience I had but was the place that I stayed. And the accommodation where you stay when you are abroad underpins and provides the platform from the experience that you have to the friends that you make to the experiences you have when you go home. Okay? So today I'm going to talk to you about how accommodation aligned with the experience that you have can mean that you can have the time of your life. Okay? But I'd like to learn a little bit more about why you're here, okay? What you want to get out of your time, because I believe you've been here for nearly a week, is that right? Yeah? Okay. What you wanted to get out of your time here, okay? Before I do that, just to make things a little bit easier, it's a bit of a warm-up. Mikhail has agreed, so Mikhail came over, um, Mikhail works for me at London Nest, and you came over in October of last year, yeah? So why did you decide to come and live abroad, Mikhail? I wanted to come in London because, to my mind, it's an amazing city, uh, very exciting, with uh, great people, a uh, lot of cultures inside this, uh, this city. Uh, the transportation is very great too, <laughs> you, can, you can move by the tube. Uh, I think London is a great opportunity in your life. If you want to come in London, do it, because it's the best thing you can do. Uh, in my opinion, uh, I linked with so many people in this city. I made uh, very good friends and I'm very happy to, to stay here for, uh, for a long term. Fantastic. Thank you, Mikhail. That's great. You can clap if you want. Okay. I'd like now Ola, who is doubling up as camera lady today. Okay, careful of the wire, Ola. Okay, so Ola Simile, she came to, it was about October at the same time, wasn't it? Same time, week before Mika, actually. Ah, 
Long termer. Yeah. Okay. So, Ola, maybe for about a minute, you could perhaps share your experience and why you came to London. Sure. I'm Ola. I'm from Poland, and I came to London. I just graduated from my studies, and I thought that it's not the time for me to start working in Poland. I wanted to go abroad. I wanted to expand my horizons. <laughs> I wanted to learn new things and meet new people from around the world and that's what I'm doing here basically. I'm enjoying my time here and I know that it's the most valuable thing I can do for a moment. So, thank you. <laughs> Fantastic, thank you Anna. Right, so Mikhail, if you could write. So we're gonna ask you two questions. So the first one is, what did you want to get out of your time here in London? Why did you come, okay? What did you want from this week? So. So guys, who's gonna reply? <laughs> okay, so first question is, is the why? Okay, so. Yep. To visit uh, historical places. To visit historical places, okay. Interesting, yeah? To learn new things. To learn new things, excellent. Okay. Have fun. So who is that? Have fun. Have fun, great. Very good, very good. That's the whole purpose of living, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. To improve my English. Improve English. Okay, anyone else? Don't be shy. Exactly. Come on, guys, don't worry. So, why did you come to London? Uh, to improve my English. To visit the city because I will miss, I will miss the love around the city. Okay, you've been before? No. Okay, so you, yeah. you, you dreamt of coming to London as a city. Okay, great, so visit new place, uh, discover new things, yeah? Okay. Uh, so, to see a different culture. To see a different culture. Yeah, the back. Maybe making new friends. Ma making new friends, love it. Okay. That area, one of that area. You? You, you. <laughs> you, man. Why you came here? To improve my English. Prove the English. Okay. Anyone else? Why, why did you come here? Honestly? Yeah. To have fun and improve the English. <laughs> Perfect. That's great. Many, many people are in the same position as you, so that's great. Okay? So we had. Visiting, we had discovering new cultures, yeah, we had um, learning English, fun, seemed like one of the most important things, okay, making new friends, great, okay, second question, okay, what do you expect from your accommodation, okay, now I'm sure it was organised as a group, okay, but when you choose a place to live, what do you want, what is important for you, okay, no right or wrong answers, okay? So, what is in, so what's important for you when you're in your accommodation? Um, I think I, I should feel like I'm home. You like to feel you're at home, that's lovely, okay? Like to feel at home, okay? What do you want from your accommodation? Uh, Good food, okay? Like Italian food? Okay, so you want good food. Okay, what else? What would you like from your accommodation? So could everyone be quiet at the back so we can hear everyone's voices? So sorry, yes? Stay with nice people, did you? Stay with nice people, so nice friendly feeling, yeah? Gentlemen at the back, can you stand up so we can hear you? A kind family. A kind family, love it. Okay. You? You? You want to say the same thing? Okay, can you say a different thing? What else? What's your second most important thing? Stand up so we can hear you. That they cook well. That they cook well. Okay, so food again, okay. Without stereotyping, you're showing yourselves to be good Italians. That's very good. What's important for you? Stand up, stand up. Comfortable, I like it. Comfort. Okay? Anybody else? What's important? For, oh, sorry, yes? Uh, good weather. Good weather. <laughs> good weather, okay. Well, one, we're in Britain, so I can't guarantee that, but um, 
Good work. How does that relate to your accommodation? Yeah. Do you mean you'd like it to be warm and cosy? Is that what you mean? No, because it's raining a lot. Because it's raining a lot. Okay, well, I'm sorry. We'll, 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 we'll keep that for the next presentation. Okay, okay. But what else? I mean, do you want... Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. I think it's really good accommodation so I can have more... Perfect. A typical London, okay. So the, sort of the, the British culture element, yes? The British environment, okay. Sounds very good. But what about, no, nobody's mentioned location. So is location not important to you? Oh, so your weight, yes? Maybe it's somewhere next to the centre, so we can receive the, in a simple way. Okay, so we've got two points there. We've got location, and we've also got close to the centre. So easy to get around, yeah? Okay, all right. No one's mentioned price. Is price not important? Because they don't pay. Yeah, that's true. Is, is the cost? Yeah. Is is the cost important? It is, but nobody said it. Because you don't have to pay. Okay, fair enough. But if you had to pay, would it be important? Okay. Okay, great. Anyone? Anyone else? Yep. Has to be clean. Love it. Which one? Okay. All right. So, right at the back. What do, what, what do you want in your accommodation? What's important for you? Clean. Okay, nice house clean. Okay, great. So, in resume, we've got some lovely things there. We've got the warmth, we've got the comfort. You didn't mention security, but that, I think, comes part as in a nice environment, yeah? A friendly environment, welcoming where you want to be, okay? Um, you've got a quality part, whether that's it being clean, for example, yeah? But also in the facilities, yeah? What's there in the house? You've got... The British element, okay, so where you have learning about the culture, which is a little bit linking back to the why, yeah? And then we said also about location being important, okay? You want it to be easy, because if you're coming here to discover new things and new culture, you don't want it to be a million miles away from the, from the centre, yeah? And then we did talk, although you're not paying for it, as this gentleman kindly pointed out, but price is obviously important too. Okay, so these are the two elements. You've got the why, which is why you come, what do you want to achieve, and then you've also got the accommodation, what you're expecting from there. Okay, so I'd like to share with you now a little bit as how we can take those two elements together, okay, what your purpose is and the accommodation, and with the accommodation of your platform, then you can achieve having the time of your life. So to do that, I'd like us to wind back a little bit to the history of people studying abroad through the eyes of the accommodation, okay? So, we start off this idea, as we said, all about world peace and sharing and so on. And how it first started, of course, was like an exchange. So people would come over and it would be a very friendly environment. They'd be staying with British families and so on, okay? Maybe they'd get the guitar out and there would be this mutual exchange between, on one side, the people that were visiting, that were coming to, to learn from British culture, and similarly, the people in Britain were actually very interested to find out about people from abroad. Okay? So this is how it all started in the 1960s. But as time went on, unfortunately, in some families, okay, you had what I like to call the Mrs. Miggins effect. Okay? So you had Mrs. Miggins, and this was the impression some people got from staying with a, with a family. They'd be staying with an old lady. Then they started complaining about the taps. This is a very British invention, to have a hot water and a cold water. Why? Why? And you, because we, we love inefficiency, okay? <laughs> okay? It's a bit like the weather. We either want to be raining or we want to be sunny, okay? All right? We also love to have carpets in the, in the bathroom, okay? And then we, of course, had 
the classic English food, which maybe wasn't... Do you, would you eat that? Do you like it? Okay, that's good. That's good to see. Okay. Right. So, okay. So you can all share your opinions later about English food. Okay. So, in reaction to that, we start because people didn't want to be with Mrs. Miggins with her budgerigar and her English food and so on. People actually wanted to be with other students. So they started building student residences. So they didn't have to stay with Mrs. Miggins anymore. Okay? So they still had the guitar, but rather than playing the guitar with the family, now they're playing the guitar with each other. Okay? So we started off with the residences. But these were quite basic facilities to begin with. They were typically dorm rooms. People were sharing together. They were sharing the bathroom. They were sharing the kitchen. But then... People wanted more, and unfortunately some of these facilities started to run down. They started to look like train spotting in the worst toilet in the world. Yeah? Okay? So we started investing in new properties, and now everyone would have their own shower. Okay? And the facilities were better. But then people, and people could still interact together because they could cook together in a nice environment, and so on. But of course, like all shared facilities, if you don't have an ethos behind it, then things start piling up and they're a mess. So people didn't want to share the kitchen anymore. Now, they wanted to have brand new facilities with their own kitchen. Okay? So they didn't have to share the bathroom. They didn't have to share the kitchen and they could cook for themselves. But unfortunately, in this curve, suddenly something was missing. And what was, of course, missing was going back to those ideals at the start, which was sharing, which is about mutual understanding, learning new culture. You cannot do that if you're just purely in your own room, with your own kitchen, your own bathroom, and you're not coming out. With the advent of the mobile phone, the smartphone, the tablet, everyone's spending all day on Facebook, communicate to their friends and the rest of the world, they weren't actually experiencing London and the UK anymore. They were stuck in their rooms. And so things started to look a little more sad. So that's why today we've brought you to the collective, which is a new form of residence that started, that started to address, it's like the new generation, where you can have both. You can have the experience, you can have the community feeling, but you can also have the quality too. So when we finish in a few minutes' time, both Mikkel and Ola are going to take you a tour of the facilities here. And what you're going to see is that there is the quality, okay, which is a lot of the things we discussed and what you wanted. Every room has its own shower. Every room has its own double bed. There's a space for you to work, a space for you to study, a space for you to relax, okay? But also there is the convenience. You don't need to go anywhere to do your laundrette. You don't need to go anywhere to go to the bar or restaurant. You don't need to go anywhere to study. Everything is all in the same place. Like, for example, the transport we were talking before. You don't need to travel across the whole of London. But there's this important element of the community. Okay? of people coming together, of sharing. So, for example, there's one lady here that for five pounds she'll happily cook you a nice, hearty, homely meal. Yeah? There's other people that are yoga instructors that will run a session on yoga. People get together to watch the football or to go to watch a film in the cinema room. Yeah? All about living together. Okay? Now... We talked about what you wanted in the accommodation, okay? There are actually generally three things when it comes to accommodation, what I like to call the golden triangle. Fantastic value, good quality, and great location, okay? Now, like many things, unfortunately, it's possible to have two, but not always to have three, okay? So... Let's imagine, for example, you can have good quality, 
great location. Let's think, for example, of the Ritz Hotel on Park Lane, five star. But unfortunately, that often comes at £400 a night, €500 Euros a night. Is that good value? No. Okay. You can have good quality and fantastic value. I'm thinking using the term, you know, the idea of a hotel, perhaps say a holiday in, in Croydon, okay? But you're not going to see the sights of London. You're not going to see Big Ben and so on. So you have the value, you have the good quality, but you don't have the location, okay? Or you can have fantastic value and great location, and you could stay in a little B&B round the corner from the British Museum, and it could cost you £35 a night, but you'll have bed bugs, and you'll be bitten, and it'll be oh, horrible, yeah? Okay, so this is the golden triangle. And coming to London is having a balance of these things. You've got to make a choice. Okay? So, you want quality, you want location, and you want value. And if you have all these things, okay, that is the platform for you to have a good time. But what's missing is, of course, the experience. So, what we've been doing, talking from our personal experience, is what we do is every Sunday night when someone arrives at our residence, people like Mikhail or Ola, get everyone together, and it's very simple. Bottle of Coke, crisps, orange juice, and they simply present people that are arriving. So all the new arrivals feel welcome. They answer any questions they have, they understand what they want to do, what they want to achieve in their time when they're in London. Okay? And they introduce each other. And then normally afterwards we'll go for a meal, maybe go to a pizza place and share some time together. Okay? And it's a great way to get to know each other. But then also we do things like we have soft skills sessions where people can learn about getting a job or they can learn about how to write their CV because they want to do the next stage of their life. Or we have dramatic classes where we have a drama coach come in to give people confidence at communicating English. So they learn things like intonation and pronunciation and so on. So they feel more confident communicating. And then of course we get together and we play football, we go to gigs, we go to concerts and we have fun. Okay? And all that part together is what makes up the experience. So you have the quality and then you have the experience. And that's why Despite the fact that people before were very unhappy and stuck in their rooms, we now managed to achieve 98% of the people that come to one of our residences, The Curve, says they would recommend it and they were happy because it's addressed the two things that they put. So, you said to us that you wanted to visit places. You wanted to learn English. You want to discover new places, okay? And we've gone through a transition now. We saw that actually, going back to the 1960s, you had that all. But with the advent of student residences, we've gone through a little bit of a journey where perhaps some of those elements were, were lost. Well, now it is possible to have both. You can have the quality, the location, the value. You can have the experience and you can be left having the time of your life. Thank you.